Keaton, I know a bunch of attention was paid to during the offseason, the fact that you have no rushing touchdowns in your career. and <laughs> you, you scored both touchdowns tonight. Uh, walk us through how that evolved and, and what happened at the goal line in both those scenarios. Yeah, you know, I don't think most people had that on the bingo card for tonight, but um, yeah, it was interesting. We did kind of know in the plan it was probably going to happen. One of those goal lines, um, we can always uh, have a chance at it and we call it. Um, and obviously, I think it helps that I haven't had one, so I don't think the defense is really ready for it. And then the second one was really just a goal line shove. They kind of knew it was coming, but um, it's a good play, and um, you know they did a, did a great job pushing me in the end zone. I kind of just along for the ride on that one, so uh, grateful that for that. Um, but obviously, we have the higher expectations of scoring 14 points in the game. Sure. Well, I mean, you, you said it. You want to score more than 14. So, what would you attribute some of the frustrations and maybe the struggles on offense to tonight? You yeah, we'll have to watch the film. I think. Uh, there were a lot of third down conversions that were called back because of penalties. We're shooting ourselves in the foot a lot. Um, and then obviously getting in third and long because of those penalties, it makes it tough. Um, Got to be our first down. I thought we ran the ball better in the second half, but also helps us get us ahead of the sticks. And then, um, you know, a lot of down the field shots. We just got to find a way to connect on them um, between me and the receivers. Got to find a way. And um, it'll be there. We're not, we're not worried. Um, we have a great offensive staff. We have a great offense. We've got great players. Uh, we just need to figure it out and uh, put it together. But um, I think we're really close to having, you know, again, a few plays go differently. We have a, a bigger night. But again, we have uh, higher expectations as an offense as a well. whole. LJ Martin seemed to find a little bit of a groove late in uh, this game. What was going right with the offensive line and LJ and the running attack late in the game? Yeah, we started calling a bit different runs, and A Rod felt more confident in the run game. And, uh, you know, LJ just did a great job hitting the hole and running hard. Um, o line did a great job too, getting blocks. You know, there's a few times there, four minutes, they know we're going to run the ball, and I thought we did a good job still running it uh, efficiently. So, uh, pretty pleased with that as a whole. And, and I thought LJ did a great job stepping up as a young freshman in his first game at a pretty good environment. I know you're strictly an offensive guy, but you see the defense pitch a shutout. What does that mean to this team? Oh, it means a lot, especially I think after last year, guys losing confidence in defense a little bit. Uh, guys were fired up, and, and you know, I kind of told them, like, hey, we got to stay calm and cool, but we know the defense is going to give us a chance to get the ball back in good field position. Oh, we had a really good field position on both scoring drives. Um, and again, a lot, I think we had two turnovers, so uh, pretty happy with that. And they stood up huge. And uh, we kind of knew out, going through fall camp, you know, we feel pretty good about the offense, but we knew our defense was going to take a huge step up. If you were putting together the script for practice on Monday, what would be item number one for the offense to try and shore up? Um, well, I think a lot of it, too. We got credit Sam Houston. You know, I think uh, they're, they're a top 10 defense last year in the SCS. Um, people don't know that or, you know, pay as much attention, but they're a good coach defense. And, um, you know, next week we'll have a different plan for Southern Utah. Um, and there's some things we got to clean up. Probably got to make sure we hit our shots and uh, get some chemistry there. But we worked on that last week. They'll come together and we'll find a way. I know it's tough when you don't have all your guys. And, and Cody Epps and Keanu Hill are a big part of this offense. So uh, what type of an uptick will you get when those guys are back in the lineup? Yeah, it's nice to have. And you guys are so experienced and comfortable. And, uh, you know, and I think that solves up some of our, some of our miscues and penalties too. Um, and the nice thing is, like, we kind of knew Kibo probably could have pushed him to go today, I think. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's nice that we have the cushion of, you know, another week to get him back. Uh, Cody, same thing, you know, trying to rush him back, but guys are being smart and uh, we should have him back for, you know, I'm not sure when we'll have him back. We'll have him back at some point and uh, I'm excited to have those guys. How would you sum up the atmosphere tonight in your first game as a BYU Cougar at Lavelle Edwards Stadium? Yeah, this is pretty impressive. Uh, starting with the Cougar walk, uh, we're super deep in that and I was I was impressed. I've never seen an environment like that and just to stripe the stadium and uh, to be super loud. They, Kalani kind of gave me the choice of where to, you know, which way to kick. And I told them, hey, let's let's put them back there with the rock. And uh, they did a great job. Caden, congratulations on a 14-point win. We'll see you next week against Southern Utah. Thank you. Appreciate it.